fossilized prehistoric animals are another topic that I can't really stomach. Not only because they're friggin creepy looking, but because I also become sad for them. A lot of prehistoric animals on this list that I will be talking about are quite young. So if you get a little irked by this, let's get irked together with these amazing scientific discoveries. I cannot look into the eyes of this nearly 10,000 year old bison mummy without having my toes curl in their socks. Look at this thing. It still even has its skin fully preserved. If that even his skin anymore. This animal was first discovered in 2011 by the members of a Yukagir tribe situated in northern Siberia. Yeah, pretty cold area too to be fossilized in Isen. Once it was discovered, scientists transported the perfectly preserved bison to the Yakuchin Academy of Sciences in Siberia, where they then did an autopsy, or rather, a necropsy. Necropsy? Necropsy. <laughs> on the animal to see how it passed on. This extinct step bison apparently is currently the only well preserved bison of its kind, with its internal organs almost completely intact, stated by Olga Potapova, a collections curator and manager at the mammoth site of Hot Springs in South Dakota says normally what you find with the mummies of megafauna in North America or Siberia is partial carcasses. They're partially eaten or destroyed because they're lying in the permafrost for tens of thousands of years. But the mummy was preserved so well that it earned a record for the level of its preservation. Imagine that! Getting a reward for passing on so flawlessly without having any scavengers to come and nip at you. Well done for 10,000 years. And that's not even the highest on this list. It's been claimed that the bison was around 4 years old when it passed on, more than likely from starvation. But the rest of its organs were so well preserved that scientists had been able to grab tissue samples from each organ, with its heart, blood vessels, digestive tract, and even the brain staying in well off condition. How wicked cool is that? We're gonna continue within Siberia because apparently, with its incredibly cold climates, it is home to what is called a permafrost. The permafrost is well known for keeping ancient animals intact for thousands of years. So strap on in as we now talk about the almost 40,000 year old foal. I can barely keep food in the freezer from eventually going bad, but you're telling me that this foal was able to keep its skin, hooves, tail, and the tiny bit of hair surrounding its body in pristine condition? Well, I wouldn't necessarily call this photo pristine, but you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, it looks like that one dog with the long snout, those borzoi dogs. I hate those dogs so, so much, so much Uncanny Valley vibes. This horse was found 100 meters deep within a Badageka crater during a Yakuchiya expedition. Scientists are stating that the foal was roughly two months old when it passed on, with the body itself measuring about 39 inches total and completely undamaged. They went to further their experiments on the mummy's bowels to discover what kind of diet it had back then. Snow, snow, yellow snow and even more snow. Simon Grigoryev states that this foal also comes from an extinct horse species known as the Lena horse, which apparently is very genetically distinct from the modern horses that roam the area today. I'd understand the difficulty of trying to bring back animals frozen from hundreds of thousands of years ago, but you know what they did instead? They brought back 42,000 year old worms instead. That is one long hibernation for these guys after being brought back to life from the permafrost in Siberia back in 2018. Siberia is really harboring all the good finds recently, damn! During the permafrost melting phase, nematodes, which are microscopic worms that live in soil, are being released back into the wild. Not literally the wild. Two of these nematodes were successfully revived. The permafrost melting is actually terrifying because I watched Ice Age 2 and some of the frozen underwater creatures that came out of it. Mm -mm. I'm terrified of that specific movie giving us the Simpsons effect. Worms today, monsters tomorrow. Despite them being tiny little organisms, this is a big deal. All the worms that they collected were apparently all female. You go girls, worm things. When defrosting them, they started moving around and actually eating. And scientists are saying that this is the first ever evidence that this is the first ever evidence of natural cryopreservation. So then it is true. Walt Disney is perfectly preserved in a block of ice beneath Disney World. Now, worms are fine, but they also went ahead and defrosted a giant V-I-R-U-S. Thanks, YouTube. From the permafrost. 
I don't care how well encapsulated you have these things. Why would you go and do that? I talked about it in a previous frozen prehistoric animal video. Go and check that out. The purpose of unfreezing these little earthlings is to advance research in other areas. To quote, such as cryomedicine, cryobiology, and astrobiology. I cannot wait to be frozen in space. This discovery also wasn't done by a scientist, but rather a normal Russian guy going hunting for mammoth tusks in eastern Siberia. Loki wished there were places in my area where I could just go hunting for some prehistoric animal bits that were available by TTC. This supposed cave line was apparently from the last ice age, but more research about this feline has come out that it might actually be a lynx kitten. Olga Albert Protopov, who is the head at the Mammoth Fauna Studies Department, states the mummy is 100% complete and the hair is perfectly preserved. The hide of the new mummy is just beautiful. Slow down there, Albert. It has predominantly gray coloration flecked by black guard hairs, the longer hairs on the animal's pelt. The hair on the head has many black spots. This would make the lynx the only second species of its kind from the Ice Age to be uncovered in Beringia. The sudden change up of titles was because they discovered a bone from the cat that resembles the same as a lynx, and finding a full intact mummified version of the species rather than bits and pieces that scientists are used to is extremely interesting. They're still digging into more information about this animal, since they have yet to discover how long ago it actually lived, or even if it's a male or a female. They are claiming, however, that they're gonna go with the knowledge that it's probably from the Pleistocene era. That's ranging from 2.6 million and 11,700 years ago. Two mammoths were also apparently discovered in the permafrost, but they differ in appearance, and scientists speculate it actually shows their evolutionary change in their lineage. Physical proof of evolution Solution, guys. Usually when working with mammoth fossils, it's all done with their teeth. But now like the other mammals on this list, they're able to get down and grimy with it, and even discovered how these two passed on. They named these two one and two month old mammoths Luba and Chroma, also both females, with Chroma being the mammoth that was found in a much older sentiment. Sadly, both of these two animals had passed on from apparently suffocating on mud. Although it's too early to say what the body differences actually mean, but Luba's front legs were longer than Chroma's, while Chroma had areas where she could have grown tusks, which Luba apparently didn't have. Luba also had much larger kidneys due to constantly being surrounded by frozen water. Daniel Fisher, a researcher from the University of Michigan Museum states, they're living in a cold, cold environment where essentially all available water is frozen, and having to pee a lot would get rid of a lot of body water that would have to be replaced by eating snow or ice, which is cold. So it's much better just to recycle the urine. Nobody's ever had an idea that the aspect of physiology was part of mammoth adaptation to the cold. Nature is so friggin' cool, literally. I personally think the frozen worms coming back to life was my favorite part. Guys, cryo containment chambers might happen sooner than we think. Don't quote me on that though, I literally have no proof to actually back that up. Well, if you enjoyed another blast from the past with these frozen prehistoric lovelies, be sure to stick around on this channel by hitting that subscribe button and liking the video. I'll be sure to see you all very soon. Happy holidays, but still, stay creepy my crawlies. Wow, you made it to the end of this video. Want to binge some more most amazing content? Yes you do. Check out this video next. It's about real Bigfoot sightings that are confirmed genuine from real experts. Click the video now to find out more. See you guys in the next video.